the Sustainability Management Master's program, you're answering one simple question. Do you care about your future generation? You know, if you care about your kids, their kids, their grandkids, then you care about sustainability. And a sustainability manager is someone who has the tools to make people understand how they can contribute towards developing a sustainable world. We have both part-time and full-time students. Our curriculum is 30 hours. Instead of thesis, we have a research project course and a seminar course which provides them with the kind of research background they will need to be successful in their job. At the same time, sustainability is not always everything about environment. It also relates to the business. They will take a sustainable business strategies course. They will take a project management course. Most of these courses are going to be taught by industry people, the people who are doing sustainability on a daily basis as a part of their job. Any organization that has a large number of employees and has a physical infrastructure, they will have to have a sustainability office. If you have the passion to develop and maintain a sustainable world, come to us and we will help you shape your passion into a career which will create an impact. The Stevens Institute of Technology is proud to present the Hugo New and Geocentric Consultants Hugo New Corporation Sustainability Seminar Series. Co-sponsored by Brown and Codwell, H2M Architect and Engineers, BEM Systems, Catalyst Group, and WSP. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, thank you for this invitation. And as you have heard, I work at the United Nations, but of course, uh, the views expressed here are my own. Um, and uh, I hope that uh, we are going to have a good talk uh, about the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and sustainable development in general, um, uh, because I'm very passionate about sustainable development, and I will tell you why. Um, the first thing I wanted to say is uh, sustainable development is not so, just something that uh, you uh, learn uh, at school or, uh, or at the university or college. It's really the way of, of life. It's the way how we live. It's the way how we work, how we learn, uh, how we relate with other people, how we interact with nature. So it's really uh, all uh, segments of our lives are contained in sustainable uh, development. And that is why uh, I'm trying to get to the next slide. And I don't know, okay, now it's working. Um, and, and that is why uh, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development uh, is a very important document. Uh, you can say, well, there are a lot of uh, UN documents, they, they, they are adopted every year, uh, but this one is really uh, what it says is transforming our world. And I would like to, uh, in, in this talk, to tell you a little bit about why it is transformative, but also that the sustainable development did not begin with the 2030 Agenda. Uh, and that the concept of sustainable development is much older than that. So uh, we are going to uh, we are going to to talk about uh, and 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 you are going to see um, how the whole concept developed and 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 that it really when you uh, when you heard about my bio you saw that I have over 20 years of experience in sustainable development. So you can imagine that it did not start uh, with the 2030 agenda. Uh, what happened with the 2030 agenda, though, is that sustainable development became uh, a, a, a became much more mainstream and much more known concept uh, among uh, the uh, among the general public, but also uh, even with those who are not dealing with sustainable de development on day to day uh, basis. Um, so uh, before uh, going into the details on the 2030 agenda, uh, let us look at the definition of sustainable development. So what sustainable development is? So this is the, the, uh, the definition that was, um, that is most widely adopted uh, a definition of sustainable development in 1987. And that is that it is, uh, that the sustainable development is the kind of development that, meet, that, meet, uh, that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. 
Um, so you see here um, that uh, that this is uh, that this this uh, uh, in the, this definition basically looks at the intergenerational also um, equity uh, because uh, we are just the guardians of 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 our um, of our planet and and uh, of our societies and we need to uh, have the uh, that kind of development that we can uh, live uh, prosperous lives ourselves, but also that we do not uh, impay, impede the, the, uh, uh, the, the coming generations, the future generations uh, to have their own needs also uh, fulfilled. And what is important about sustainable development, and that's what, where I started, is that sustainable development is really about everything uh, in our lives. So it has three dimensions, economic, social, and environmental. And this is this interrelations between uh, these dimensions uh, that is very, uh, that, it, that is important. And, and that's why sustainable development encompasses all aspects of our lives. It's very important to look at the economic dimension because economic dimension uh, is, is linked to both social and environmental because economic uh, growth is something uh, which of course uh, is how the, uh, how the societies have for decades, if not centuries, uh, measured their prosperity. So you have the, uh, you have the GDP, and uh, and 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 you look how uh, how how um, how this is growing or not, and that's how you measure your prosperity. But this is really not something that uh, that really reflects how people live and whether they really are uh, having happy and prosperous lives, and 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 also um, the lives that they should live in dignity. So what is important is to look also at the social uh, side of, uh, of sustainable development and see uh, what kind of, uh, of, of life they live, whether they have access to basic services, uh, whether they have access uh, to education, uh, whether uh, they, when, when, when they are, um, when they uh, when 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 they are living in what kind of society they live whether this society is inclusive whether they have access to justice whether their human rights uh, are uh, um, are respected whether there is gender equality so there are a lot of things that are go beyond just how uh, how much uh, uh, money you get every uh, every day of course this is an important part of it but it's not on the only part and then we come third dimension which is environmental dimension because we know that in order to uh, to to be prosperous uh, to uh, to have uh, to have different industries uh, to to uh, to produce uh, we have to use natural resources and how we use the natural resources and how we uh, how we utilize them is very very important because if uh, uh, if you um, the way that you produce and the way uh, that you consume, if this uh, is to the detriment of the environment, if it's not a nature positive, uh, then you are basically uh, not doing what the, the sustainable development definition says you should be doing, and that is to have uh, the uh, the uh, to have the needs of the those in the future generations be met as the needs of this generation. So uh, this is something which is very, very important. And uh, I'm sure that all of, uh, all of us uh, have become even more aware uh, during this uh, pandemic, uh, how, uh, how we are uh, basically very much dependent on nature and how we uh, behave towards nature and how important uh, it is. So uh, this is something which, uh, which needs to be taken into account. So this is why sustainable development is all encompassing because these three dimensions are there in this, uh, in, 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 in this um, definition of, of, not, uh, of having the needs met. So you are meeting the needs by using all these three uh, dimensions uh, together. And so now, when we, uh, so what I want to do now is to show you uh, a little bit of history 
and uh, how all this came into being so that you don't think that the sustainable development started uh, with the adoption of the 2030 agenda for sustainable development which was adopted in 2015 at United Nations by all 193 member states of the United Nations. So uh, if you look at, uh, I haven't gone uh, back to very, very old future, um, even though I could go back uh, to let's say um, even 18th century, uh, I'm sure that you have all heard of, uh, uh, of, the, um, uh, of, of, the, uh, of the philosopher um, uh, and, uh, um, uh, and, and uh, of, of a philosopher, uh, Thomas Malthus. He has, uh, of course, been uh, oftentimes uh, not uh, uh, been portrayed as not in not a very good uh, way because uh, of his uh, some of his uh, controversial um, uh, views on how the population should be um, diminished and and decreased. Uh, but uh, he was one of uh, of the first uh, who uh, in in his essays talked about the finite sources of uh, agriculture and and how uh, agriculture uh, that there will be too many people for uh, the uh, for the agriculture to produce enough food for them but this was the first time that somebody talked about uh, the uh, the using the the uh, the natural resource which is land and how this land uh, cannot always um, uh, uh, if 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 the um, how this land is not uh, is 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 not used cannot be used over and over and over again because it will be uh, just uh, too too uh, too exhausted to to uh, to give any uh, any crops. So starting back in the 18th century and going all the way to here, so you can see that uh, that people have started uh, thinking about uh, the sustainability of things uh, many many years ago. Um, and even uh, uh, centuries ago, but we are not going to go that far. I just wanted to say that as a as a as in bypass uh, to show you that um, that this kind of of thinking has been around for a long time. Um, so uh, what what I actually wanted to say is um, that. Um, in uh, they were um, before the the the, uh, the conference that happened in 2012, which is called uh, Rio Plus 20 conference, and I will tell you why it's called Plus 20, uh, is because uh, the first conference that talked about uh, about environment and development also happened uh, in Rio in 1992, which is often called Earth Summit. And uh, this, um, and and in this, uh, during this Earth Summit, uh, there was uh, the realization of sustainable development of the three dimensions of sustainable development and the importance of incorporating all three dimensions into the development. And so uh, this uh, conference in 1992. <laughs> Uh, was very, very important. And so 20 years after that conference, there, uh, there was another conference again in Rio, and that's why it's called Rio Plus 20, uh, which uh, gave, if I may say that, a birth to the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, and I will tell you why. Before the Earth Summit, as you can see on the slide, uh, was Stockholm uh, in 1972. So that was uh, ba basically uh, the first uh, conference that talked about uh, human environment uh, and our um, and how we interact with nature and how important uh, environment is uh, for our economic and social prosperity. And that's why it is important. Uh, uh, the uh, conference in Stockholm did not use the term sustainable development. Uh, it uh, used, uh, it, it talked about human uh, environment, uh, and uh, but th what what it did uh, do is uh, it it uh, uh, it uh, it drew attention to the way that we produce and consume. So um, they were drawing the attention to how human activity is basically um, uh, influencing the environment. And that is what we are we are seeing today uh, with climate change, because all the all the changes in, that are happening in climate 
it has been scientifically proven that that has that this is uh, due to the human activity. So, uh, so that is why Stockholm uh, in 1972 um, is important because this was uh, the first conference that talked about the influence or better to say detrimental influence, unfortunately, of human activities on environment. And so that's, uh, that's why this, uh, this, uh, uh, this conference uh, was important. And, and of course, uh, 20 years after that, uh, the Earth Summit, uh, the Conference on Environment and Development happened in Rio. And uh, that was the first time uh, that uh, an, a United Nations conference talked about sustainable development as such. We had, uh, as you have seen in my previous slide, the, in the 1987, already uh, the, uh, the commission uh, on, um, that was um, the report of the, of the, of the World uh, uh, Commission on Sustainable Development gave us uh, the, uh, uh, the definition, but this was not an intergovernmental and, uh, and uh, agreed uh, definition, and it was not adopted by all uh, member states of the United Nations. Uh, the, uh, during the Earth Summit in 1992, uh, the sustainable development was adopted by, by, uh, by, the, um, by the, all the all the member states uh, of the United Nations uh, at that uh, time. So um, that was uh, the first time the sustainable development basically was put on the, uh, on the, on, on the international agenda. Even though it was still, as you, as I will tell you, um, on many uh, for many years, basically until until 2012, uh, or was much much more marginalized than what was uh, what was called the uh, mainstream development, which was based on the, on the um, uh, on the on the structural economics and uh, and 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 the um, and and the ways that that are. Uh, being uh, mostly um, uh, defined by uh, the Bretton Woods institutions, which are with the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund, uh, which looked at the um, and only at the economic uh, part of the development and uh, and uh, and on the uh, and and using the structural uh, economics uh, and and not thinking of the other two uh, aspects of development, which are social and uh, and. And, uh, environmental. So that's why um, this, uh, this Earth Summit in 1992 uh, was important. It was followed, uh, this track on sustainable development was followed by Johannesburg, a World Summit on Sustainable Development in 2002, um, which was a very unfortunate timing for this summit uh, because um, it happened around 9-11. And uh, this, of course, uh, changed uh, uh, in, the in, the, in the United States, as you all know, and it all changed the, the, the world. And, and basically, uh, the uh, member states at that time were not uh, uh, willing uh, to, uh, to, re to, 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 to reinforce and, and to strengthen the goals on around sustainable development. So this summit basically um, the, the 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 biggest uh, um, achievement of this summit was that it uh, put a lot of emphasis on uh, 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 put a lot of, of emphasis uh, uh, on on how to uh, do things in partnership. So that was the summit that uh, that that uh, that was uh, in that way an accomplishment because uh, it, it uh, forged over 100 partnerships and then partnerships uh, were strengthened also within the United Nations. Um, there was a database of partnerships was uh, established and then there were another entities at the United Nations uh, that were established around, uh, around uh, the um, uh, around this time, uh, and uh, for example, United Nations Global Compact, which is uh, a part of the United Nations that works uh, with company with the private sector and companies. Uh, so this was a very uh, a very uh, important uh, um, uh, summit in that sense. But unfortunately, it didn't do much in reinforcing 
uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the centrality of, of sustainable uh, development at the, international, uh, at the international level. And then uh, uh, we come to uh, uh, to to the uh, to the to the to the to to, uh, to the around year 2000. Of course, uh, the um, uh, what what was realized um, little by little, but was was realized also in the uh, uh, in in this uh, um, mainstream development is that things were not working very well uh, with. Uh, those uh, very much structural reforms that that were uh, being uh, um, uh, done by the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund, uh, especially for the developing countries uh, and uh, and low income countries, and that something needs to be done. So at the turn of the century, the Millennium Declaration uh, was um, established. Uh, and adopted at the United Nations. And on the basis of this declaration, um, the, uh, the Millennium Development Goals uh, were uh, conceptualized and eight goals uh, were, uh, were identified. These eight uh, Millennium Development Goals uh, were goals that were um, basically, um, they, they were, um, they were they were fulfilling uh, the basic human needs. So uh, that would mean uh, the um, the needs for education, uh, maternal health, child mortality, reducing poverty, um, uh, uh, having uh, uh, food security. So these were the um, those those were the goals uh, that uh, uh, that uh, uh, the access to to water. And uh, so those were the goals that basically uh, fulfilled basic human needs. And and what they did, uh, they they of course they, they at that time uh, they were uh, a very important uh, step forward because they um, uh, they unified and 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 uh, um, uh, the the way how uh, those that were involved in development, especially for the developing countries, uh, they had a unified framework around which they could uh, they could work with countries uh, to uh, to improve uh, their uh, their situation, and they had also uh, in, in introduced not only the economic measure. Of, uh, of of development, but also the social measure, which was very important. There was uh, there was a uh, uh, there was an uh, there was a, an an environment goal in MDGs uh, as well. Uh, it it was uh, the goal seven, uh, and I talked about environment and uh, also uh, reducing uh, people to to live in in slums. And to have access uh, to to water and energy, so this was something uh, which was uh, which was an important uh, MDG. But unfortunately, it was one of those MDGs that have never uh, been achieved. Uh, and uh, and 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 this is uh, one of the things why uh, sustainable development also because it was not in this uh, mainstream development was not uh, a strong part of it. Uh, there was uh, there was not a, a lot of progress on that. There were a number of uh, of other summits uh, around uh, uh, around uh, development. Uh, this was the 2005 World Summit. There was a high level event on the Millennium Development Goals. There was a summit on the Millennium Development Goals, uh, and in 2013, uh, then I started an important. Um, a trend on looking at the MDGs acceleration and what will happen beyond 2015. Um, and, uh, and, and during uh, this time of the MDGs, there was also the financing for development process, which started in Monterey in 2002, and also um, had an important conference in Doha in 2008. Um, and uh, this was uh, again uh, this uh, the financing for development was based mostly on the uh, on the structural economics and and looking at the macroeconomic uh, issues at the uh, resource mobilization uh, which the both domestic and international looking at the official development assistance so it was very much uh, a mainstream uh, structural economic approach 
but at the same time, it did help uh, the, uh, to some extent, the implementation of the Millennium uh, Development uh, Goals. Uh, and uh, so uh, the uh, so what was happening until uh, uh, the Rio Plus Twenty conference until uh, 2012 uh, was basically uh, the um, the two tracks. There was one track which was based on structural economics, and there was uh, another track which was sustainable development, which by many uh, was regarded as something nice to have, but not uh, not essential. Uh, which uh, with uh, the Rio Plus 20 conference uh, and the conceptual conceptualization of sustainable development goals or what we call it the UN SDGs, um, they, uh, they have uh, finally uh, uh, there this realization of saying that, uh, that uh, sustainable development is not something that uh, it's, it's an end on, but it's really the only way uh, to uh, to develop if we want to have uh, sustainable uh, sustained economic growth, uh, where benefits are shared more equally, um, where people have decent jobs, uh, where and where there is access uh, to basic services, to education, and where people are um, treated equally, and uh, there is uh, there is also uh, gender empowerment. And, and, and where we do all of that, looking at how we, uh, we use uh, the resources, natural resources that we have at our disposal. So Rio Plus 20 conference in, in 2012 was a very important United Nations conference, and it resulted uh, in, uh, in the outcome document, which conceptualized these SDGs. Wow. And, uh, and, re, uh, and, and, and mainstreamed uh, this uh, notion that uh, that sustainable development is the only way uh, to uh, to develop. This was followed by a number of uh, different processes uh, that led uh, to the uh, United Nations Summit on Sustainable Development in 2015, where the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development was uh, adopted. Uh, uh, in the parallel to that uh, was also another, uh, I would say, three important agreements that happened around that time. The same year, the Paris Agreement uh, on Climate uh, was adopted, uh, which is a very important agreement and uh, should be uh, um, and looked at uh, together with the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Another one is disaster risk reduction. Uh, and uh, we have seen uh, with this um, pandemic uh, how important it is uh, to be resilient and to be prepared uh, for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, the, uh, for disasters that might come, whether they are man-made, whether they are uh, natural disasters. And then uh, the last is the new urban agenda, uh, which is agenda which is uh, focusing on uh, cities, and, uh, and, and how uh, cities are important uh, for um, everybody's, uh, for everybody's uh, life and, and as an important hubs of, uh, of activity, of economic, uh, social activity, how it is important to have a sustainable urbanization uh, where we look also the way how people live, uh, the spaces where they are uh, and, and how this is all organized. And uh, so, um, uh, and so we come to to uh, to the um, uh, now to to the implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, uh, where we have uh, the, uh, uh, the we have the center platform uh, for uh, follow up and review, uh, which is the uh, high level political forum on sustainable development, and I'm going to talk about that as well. Uh, the sustainable development goals that I will talk about uh, as well, and then the Addis, what we call Addis Ababa Action Agenda, um, which is uh, the um, the uh, financing part of the 2030 Agenda, which is showing how uh, the sustainable development goals uh, should be uh, financed. And then uh, uh, we have the science, technology, and innovation. Uh, which uh, is an important part also. Uh, we have seen how, um, how science and technology are very important uh, and especially for developing countries, technology transfer 
and the open sources uh, for science are very important. And of course, we have seen um, in the pandemic has, uh, told, has taught us a lot about innovation as well. So um, I'm coming to now to the 2030 agenda uh, for sustainable development uh, to show what uh, it really is. Uh, so um, the agenda itself, it says of, uh, that it's a plan of action for people, planet and prosperity. So you see here that you have people uh, is the social dimension uh, and planet is the environment and prosperity, of course, the economic dimension. So this is a plan for all these uh, three areas and its characteristics is its universality and indivisibility of the three dimensions. And of course, the ambition to cover all aspects of our lives. And so uh, why is it, I'm going to talk about the ambition, but maybe just to say uh, that uh, this universality of the 2030 agenda is something that is really transformative in the area of development because at the United Nations, because at the United Nations uh, up to the 2030 agenda, uh, with the Millennium Development Goals and uh, prior to that uh, with, uh, with other, uh, other plans for development, it was, uh, it was for developing countries. Developed countries, OECD countries, they never came to the United Nations to say what they are doing uh, for their development. It was for the first time with the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development that all countries are now coming to the United Nations and they are all saying what and how they are uh, implementing sustainable development. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. So, uh, so coming to, uh, to the ambition of the 2030 agenda, uh, you will see that this uh, uh, ambition is based on uh, five Ps people, planet, prosperity, peace, and partnership. So these are uh, basically the, the values uh, on, on which uh, the, uh, the 2030 agenda uh, has been uh, established. So uh, for people, uh, the ambition is to end poverty and hunger, fulfill their potential in dignity and equality and in a healthy environment. So you see here all of these things that I have been uh, uh, saying uh, about uh, not only uh, that the economic growth is important, but it's also important that people do not live in poverty and in hunger and, and that they have a decent work and that they can live in uh, dignity and equality and that they have uh, the right to health, uh, healthy environment. The planet, of course, is the protection from degradation. And what we need to do is change how uh, we consume and how we produce so that uh, we, do not, uh, uh, we do not further degrade the environment. And, uh, and what is really important is the sustainable management of natural resources and urgent action on climate change. You will see for prosperity um, uh, is about prosperous and fulfilling lives. Uh, so um, to, to, to do all this, um, uh, to, to have the economic, social and technological progress, but it has to be with harmony with nature. So environment in nature is not an add on. It's not nice to have. It's part of development. And this is something with, that everybody needs to realize. Uh, it should be uh, very much uh, on all of our minds is that, okay, so we are going to, to do whatever we need to do uh, to have five cars, five houses, and I don't know, um, uh, 10 yachts or whatever, uh, and we don't care what is going to happen after, uh, after that. Uh, so uh, this is, uh, uh, and, 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 and we will talk and think about that maybe later, uh, or give it to, to somebody else to think about it once we are gone. So this is not the way how we should be doing things. So this intergenerational equity and, and the uh, responsibility that, uh, that, uh, that, we, uh, that we have is very important. So uh, that whatever we do and, and whatever, uh, whatever kind of prosperous lives uh, we want to live, that we need to do it uh, in harmony with nature. It has to be uh, nature positive development. And then, of course, uh, peace is a very important part of the of the whole equation. Uh, we, we need peaceful, just, and inclusive societies. 
uh, where uh, the rule of law uh, is there to promote sustainable development. Uh, because everybody uh, who has uh, um, lived or, um, or, or hopefully not, but maybe uh, uh, learned and, 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 and read about conflicts, uh, that uh, you would know that if you do not have uh, peace, you cannot have development. So, uh, uh, so having peaceful, uh, just and inclusive societies that take care of everybody, that those who cannot, be, uh, cannot take care of, the, of themselves, who are vulnerable uh, people, like, for example, people, uh, persons with disabilities, indigenous peoples, uh, people with HIV AIDS, um, uh, uh, um, aging, youth, children, um, women, all of them uh, need, uh, if they cannot, uh, if they cannot uh, do, uh, if they cannot um, uh, have their own, um, uh, take care of their own lives, they have to, to have a very strong uh, social protection measures so that they can be uh, included in, uh, in, in, the, uh, in, in, an, uh, in, in everyday uh, life. And then uh, the last one is partnership, which is very important. And this is, is a means of implementation and strengthen global solidarity, uh, which is focusing, as I was just saying, on poorest and most vulnerable and uh, participation of all countries, all stakeholders, and all people. So this agenda is not just for somebody who sits uh, as a delegate of a country uh, at the United Nations building here on the East River, but it's really for everybody. And this is something which is uh, which is which I, I would like to to have one message if I can if I can leave with you is that sustainable development is the way how how we all live and how we should all live. So this is, uh, this is really uh, an important uh, thing. So um, um, now I would just, hmm. oh, no, sorry. So, uh, so how we are going to achieve uh, this, um, the prosperity and um, and and uh, um, and and and, uh, and lives in uh, uh, in dignity and equality and in harmony with nature, uh, uh, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development has 17 uh, goals, sustainable development goals. And, and if you look at the uh, characteristic of these goals, um, they are said to be integrated, indivisible, balance the three dimensions of sustainable development, global and universally applicable. Uh, and also seek to realize human rights for all, gender equality and empowerment of women and girls and leaving no one behind. So these are the goals. And, and if you look at all 17 of them, uh, I'm not going to, to, to go all of them, of course, just to, 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 for you to look at them, you will see that they go from poverty and food uh, and, 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 um, and, uh, um, and food security uh, to access to energy, water, um, decent jobs, how we produce and consume, um, uh, how we address climate change, and ocean and biodiversity and, and how uh, we uh, have to have inclusive and peaceful societies. So these goals are integrated and indivisible. And I have uh, just uh, wanted to show you uh, in, a, in a very, um, uh, I hope, uh, um, vi very visible way uh, how these goals are integrated. So, uh, so this is something that uh, that was uh, that was done in 2015 when sustainable development goals were agreed, and uh, you will see here that each goal, um, and you see those uh, bigger dots are the goals, um, and um, and then the smaller one are the targets, because uh, what uh, what was uh, what uh, what the uh, sustainable development goals wanted to achieve uh, was to uh, to have to have the goals which are for everybody, for all countries in the whole of the of the world. Uh, that, but uh, but then there are targets which are associated with these goals, 
uh, which are very much uh, 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 which are detailed uh, and on 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 how these goals should be uh, achieved, and these targets uh, also need there are 169 of them uh, need to be looked at and to see uh, how we can achieve these goals through uh, these uh, targets. So um, these uh, they they are kind of 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 dissecting the goals, unpacking the goals so that, that, that you have them in the target. And then each target has also indicators how it can be measured. So there is a whole system and it's a very much evidence-based uh, system how you can do certain things to achieve the goals. But also what it shows is uh, if you look at, at, these, um, uh, at, at these interlinkages, you will see how the goals are, um, are connected. Uh, and, and, and just to give you a very uh, simple uh, example um, that, uh, that I have come across, um, I was working uh, in, uh, uh, with, um, uh, uh, with access uh, to water um, for, uh, for, one for one village and uh, uh, in a developing country. Uh, and because they were, and, and what was, what, 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 uh, what has been, uh, what I have found out is that there is a very low, um, uh, 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 very, there is a very low um, number of girls that go to school. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, so they, they were, they, they just, uh, they did not go to school and uh, it was, uh, it was uh, probably one of the lowest in the country. So the question was why? I mean, why is this? Uh, um, and then what happened? What 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 the realization was that uh, the, uh, the 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 village didn't have access to water, and uh, and and girls and women were um, tasked with going uh, to water, and 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 sometimes and it was a few uh, kilometers, a few a few miles here in the U.S., a few miles away, and and they would uh, spend the whole day going back and forth to get enough water for whatever needs uh, the whatever needs we need for water so once this was uh, the realization happened uh, the uh, um, and 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 we provided access to water so that each household can just open the faucet and the water would just run down would would run from it uh, the the uh, the in, suddenly the uh, inscription of girls in 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 uh, in classes rose rapidly because they didn't need to go to get water anymore. So this was this was just uh, one example which happened many years ago. But um, but I just wanted to say how two things that uh, water and education that might you might not necessarily uh, see as as interlinked are very much interlinked. And, and, and we can see in uh, a, a very uh, blatant examples that we have uh, uh, recently is, is, the, is climate change. Uh, that the, uh, we, uh, the, as, we, as I already said, it has been scientifically proven that climate change uh, is induced by human activities and the ways uh, how, we, uh, how we produce and how we consume. So um, if uh, if we uh, the, uh, the 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 changes that we have made to climate uh, has um, uh, uh, as a consequence has all these uh, negative uh, negative um, effects on 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 warming on extreme temperatures on extreme weather events and and this is all connected. So uh, this is very very important to bear in mind. That, that as our lives are, are interconnected and, and we cannot compartmentalize and say, okay, now this is economic thing I'm doing, or oh, okay, this is a social thing I'm doing, or this is now environmental thing is I'm doing, and I'm going to go different ways. One day I'm going to do one, one another. The same thing is with sustainable development. If you want to have the overall prosperity of society, you need really to have the integrated uh, uh, an integrated approach uh, to, to, to this. So um, now coming to, uh, to the uh, high level political forum on sustainable development, uh, which was established in the, in the, in the Rio plus 20 conference in 2012, but with the, but, uh, with the adoption of the 2030 agenda for sustainable development, it has become the central platform for reviewing and following up uh, on uh, on the uh, on the implementation of the agenda uh, at the global uh, level, 
uh, so you will see uh, you see here that there are a number of uh, of uh, 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 of functions that uh, it needs to uh, to fulfill. But what is really important, um, and this is uh, the to have uh, coherent policies informed by evidence, science, and country experiences. So this is really important, and to enhance the integration of the three dimensions uh, of sustainable development. And this is really uh, important uh, for uh, for the overall implementation of sustainable uh, of this of sustainable uh, development. Uh, so now, uh, and you see here that you have different levels of follow-up and review. Uh, that you uh, you have national and sub subnational levels, national uh, levels, regional and global levels. Why are these levels important? Uh, is uh, to show you that everybody, starting from uh, from uh, each individual. Uh, at the uh, community level, uh, at, I would say from us at home to community level, uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, to the local and then to the uh, national responses uh, to the 2030 agenda, going to the regional level and then uh, to the global level. So um, this is very, very important uh, to show how this, uh, this is all interconnected and that we need at all of these levels uh, to look at, at the three dimensions of sustainable development and really uh, look the way that uh, how we uh, consume and produce uh, and, and how we develop uh, at all levels. So this is a, a very important, uh, important part. And now coming to, 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 the, to today's day and age and, uh, and looking at the, uh, at the importance uh, of the uh, of sustainable recovery from uh, the uh, COVID-19. And what I usually like to say is COVID-19 reset, because uh, what we don't want is to go back to what we used to have pre-pandemic, because uh, the uh, pandemic has shown uh, that, uh, that we might be in the same uh, situation, but some people are in boats, some are in yachts, and some are in uh, in huge ships, uh, so uh, it and it's not the same if you are uh, in uh, in a small boat or if you are in a huge uh, cruise ship. I think that the level of of the impact that you might have is 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 very uh, different. So um, what is important and 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 I would say this is our opportunity and our chance is that uh, we. Uh, really have, I would say, once in a in a in a lifetime chance uh, to use this uh, pandemic as an opportunity, and and to try to look at what we have done and how we have done it, and then to try and do better. So uh, it's it's and this is from uh, McKinsey Company uh, is showing uh, how sustainable and inclusive growth can be a dynamic self-reinforcing combination, but you have to, uh, uh, you have to look at the, how these for, uh, forces counteract. So that's why it's very, very important to look at the, um, at the growth uh, in, in connection with inclusion and, and what they call uh, sustainability, which means how, uh, how you, what kind of energy you are uh, using, what kind of life uh, you have, uh, what kind of um, what uh, what kind of product market distor distortions uh, can happen? So you have these three uh, uh, three uh, dimensions which which they have put uh, here forward and looking uh, in a very dynamic way. So uh, why I like um, uh, this um, this infographic is because uh, it shows the dynamism and and this kind of 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 real uh, interconnection. Uh, between uh, between uh, between all these forces, showing that it's not an easy way to do it, and that it cannot be compartmentalized. That you cannot do one without the other if you really want to 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 have uh, all the uh, uh, to 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 have the the overall prosperity of of everybody. So I think this is uh, this kind of a dynamic that is there, and I'm going to leave you uh, with uh, with this um, slide, uh, uh, which asks you a question: In which world would you rather live? Uh, so if you look on the right side, uh, and then you look on the left uh, on the on the, on the left side, and then you look on the right side. 
So um, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that everybody will look to the right side and not to the left side, um, but uh, the choice is ours. And, uh, and we are, um, as uh, the, uh, uh, some people have said, that we are, uh, the, um, uh, we are the last generation that have the opportunity to, uh, to, uh, to make a, a real a significant change. So this is, I'm going to leave you uh, with uh, with this uh, slide and and these pictures. Thank you very much.